select a tool in the tools panel, just go over here, express oil, and then go to the document. Now just position it, say like in the center, and then hold down the shift key. And that will activate the ruler tool. And you've got that origin point there and you can drag out to this point. Now I'm not drawing anything at this point, but you can see as I rotate around, you've got that ruler. And what you can do, you can start drawing from that point. And you can go down all the way down and you can go through it as well. You can continue on, but the key thing is release and then release the shift. Don't do it the other way around. If you release the shift before you release the actual mouse, then it will jerk and slightly go off from that position. So you've always got to go again, go over to the document and you can see you hover around there, hold down the shift and you'll get that cursor. And again, you've got that straight line and you can do it and it doesn't have to be parallel to the other one. You can draw it like there and you can draw out to say this point and you can draw back to that original point. And again, just draw all the way down there and then as soon as you're happy with that, release the mouse and then release the shift. That's the key thing. And that's always the way to do it. Otherwise, like I say, it will go slightly off and you, it will not work in the way you think it should. However, the ruler tool itself, so say you want the ruler tool, what well, you can see, edit and down to ruler tool. Now this is quite a nice little feature. You've got the ruler tool here and you can fix it, you can lock it, which you may want. Say you want to do repeat lines a particular way. Obviously locking it is great because you can always accidentally move it. And you can just move this around, position it in the way that you want it, say like that or like that. Once you're happy with that, you can say lock control points. You don't have to use it, but it's sometimes handy because otherwise you disrupt it. So lock control points and you can just then draw from there. And you can see as you do that, it will draw in a straight line. Now, if you go too far away, it will not draw in a straight line. But if you're very, very close to that, it will draw in a straight line. So if I go for another color, you can see now I just draw there and it's drawn along that straight line. And that's quite useful. Also, you've got freehand. Now freehand does give you a slight bit of variation to it. So you can just sort of draw it and it gives a more sort of like roughness to the line. I mean, to be honest, it looks much the same, but apparently it just gives a bit more sort of like it's freehand drawn. Though personally, just draw it freehand. That would be even easier, of course. However, if you don't want that anymore, you can always close it. There's a little blue closer and you can close that and that's that. But again, anytime you want, always hold down there, the shift and you've got this line. And I think personally that's just as easy. So you can draw, but again, always from that point and then release the mouse, then the shift. And again, you can then go to this position and say, hold down the shift and again, you get that line. And again, draw back to that point there and release and then release the shift and so on. You can see that approach. That's using the ruler tool. Well, also shortcut. That's before I finish. Edit and shortcut to that. And that's Shift R. That's the key thing. That's obviously what I'm doing. Shift R, but it's just a way of bringing up that panel. Shift R. And you can see that there. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.